I just wanted to record this quick video to help anyone that's ever faced any issues when uploading videos online. Um, whether that's uploading videos to YouTube, sometimes you'll upload a video and it, it'll take forever to upload. Um, or whether you're uploading videos to some other kind of software. Um, I've recently found out, um, I found this method after trying to upload videos to the um, Instamate, Instamate 2. Um, I had Instamate 1, upgraded to Instamate 2, really like the idea of uploading videos to it. Um, especially like videos and photos and things like that that you've already got on your computer um, and on your hard drives that are just sitting there and you want to share them on Instagram. So I tried to upload some videos and they literally just wouldn't upload. Um, I tried contacting support, didn't really kind of get very much um, sort of help from them really. They, they seem to explain it as some kind of technical thing so I managed to figure it out for myself. Uh, and not only that, I found this um, quite a sneaky little method uh, that I discovered to uh, get away around to use this free software, this free resource uh, online, but also get away around having to pay for it, uh, which I'll share with you shortly as well. So um, I'll show you a quick uh, screen capture uh, image of the video that I um, uploaded and the difference it made. So if I go here and whoop, I'll click on that one, so we'll click on this and enlarge that and you'll see this is um, a screenshot of a video that I uploaded and the original size was 43.84 megabytes and after taking a few minutes for the uh, video compression it went down to 6.8 uh, 6.82 megabytes and the video quality and the sound everything was just the same didn't make any difference uh, but it just reduced the file uh, so much in a short amount of time very quick and easy um, and it uploaded straight away. Next time I tried to upload it, not a problem. In the past I've tried using uh, free software um, called Handbrake. Some of you may have heard of it. Um, and if you have seen it, you'll, you'll also know that when you open it up, there's so many different settings. It looks so complicated. And uh, even though I managed to still reduce file sizes using it, to be completely honest, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I just clicked a few buttons and it, it seemed to work. Um, but this is very, very straightforward um, and it just works very quickly. It's very easy to do. So I'll show you how to do that now and I'll also show you afterwards how to kind of get, get away around having to pay for it. Because if you click on price in here, it's not a lot, but you'll see that you can use it for free uh, for five videos. Um, and then after that, you need to upgrade uh, and start paying a monthly subscription. But you can get around that, which I'll show you. So if we go to clipchamp.com and you'll see this bit here, convert video file. So we just click on that and then you'll see that you can uh, sign in or sign up using Google, Facebook or email. Now I've created an email account and just make a note that it's a Gmail account um, because that's, that's one of the um, things you need to get away around it and I'll show you that shortly. But I've created an email account so just create a, um, a gmail account if you actually want to use this time and time again without having to pay for it um, so click on that put in your gmail account um, email address so the one i created was uh, mlaxdown3185 at gmail.com and then click on send me magic link so you'll see there they've sent me the magic link and click on this and click on the button here sign in with magic link and that'll take you to, back to this page but now you'll see that you've got the box where you can drag, drag and drop a video into so I'll grab the video that I want to uh, compress so this one here drag it into there, close that down and the next uh, thing you need to do I want to optimize for now I, I didn't play around with these I just went straight to this mobile small and easy to share I just clicked on that and if I just move myself across there to the left and you'll see the uh, the original obviously this is the same video I showed you the screenshot of uh, but you'll see the original size is 43.84 megabytes. So all you need to do then is click start. And you'll see there that it starts compressing the video file. So rather than have you wait around 
watching this, uh, then uh, I'll pause the video and I'll get back to you once that's done. Oh, right, now that's done. Um, just enough time to grab a coffee during the time that that took. It took about three or four minutes, uh, and you can see here it's uh, compressed the file from 43.84 megabytes down to 6.64 megabytes. Now you've got two options: upload and share, uh, or save. Now I'm going to save this to my computer, so you just click on that, and you can see actually the you can see the video quality there. It's absolutely um, cracking. It's just the same as as the original. Um, but obviously a lot less in terms of uh, the size of the file. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, options that you have for pricing are free for only five videos, um, after which you have to start paying $9 uh, per month, which isn't a lot, but obviously if you want to save yourself $9 a month, then uh, you can easily get away around it. So if we go to the dashboard at the moment, you'll see here that I've got three videos, um, three videos left that I can upload, after which I'll have to upgrade. Now, what you can do to get around this is we'll go to the account and actually just sign out. So I'm going to click sign out. And again, like I said earlier, just bear in mind this is a Gmail account that I've set up. So when we go to here and so sign out of the account and what do you if you, you know once you've run out if you thought you know you've reached your limit, sign out, go to this and then not account, it's not my account, so I'm basically signing up with a new account. But all I'm doing is clicking on sign up with email and I'm going to put the same email address in, which was 3185. And then with Google, um, if you don't already know, you can just put uh, plus one, plus one, okay, at gmail.com. And this is very useful uh, if you ever need to. Um, you know, use like a test email to to sign up to something, or if you've actually got your own product and you want to start um, using like a test email for the transaction, check everything's working okay without having to keep creating new email addresses. Um, but also, it's obviously very useful for this because when you put in the same email address with plus one, then send my magic link. So now you can see I've got this uh, new email from them. And again, just click on sign in with magic link. And you'll see this again here. But this time you'll see this is the new email address with plus one. And if we go to dashboard, you'll see now I've got five <laughs> videos that uh, I can now upload. So that's without upgrading. Once you've reached that five, you can do exactly the same with your email plus two. And again, plus three. And you carry on doing that as much as you want. So uh, yeah, it's quite a little sort of nifty way, really, just to have to sort of save yourself a bit of a little bit of money, really, rather than you know keep paying out nine dollars every month. Um, so I hope that's helped. Um, I'd love to see uh, to hear your feedback, and uh, yeah, good luck with uh, uploading your videos.